Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Math 30-3, Chapter 3, Section 3, Percentiles. Now, just to review, we just did the question, The player that's, how many players are less than 190 centimeters? Well, the 90, somebody in the 90th uh, centimeters is in the 92nd percentile, which means 92% of the players are shorter than him. Okay? Now, Let's do a couple more examples. Tom and Sarjit have just completed the mortgage brokerage course in BC in order to become mortgage brokers. There were 175 people in the course. And if 90 of these students scored lower than Tom in the course, what was his percentile rank? Well, PR, percentile rank, low number times 100. So 90 scored less. There were 175 people, and I can't do that math in my head. So 90 divided by 175 times 100, 51.4. Call it 52nd percentile, because I just remembered you're really not supposed to go to decimal places. You're not supposed to. So 52. Per his percentile score is 52, which means. 52% scored less. Than him. No, well, scored less than Tom. Right? Now, if 50 of the students scored higher than Sergeant and three people got the same score as him, what was his percentile rank? Percentile rank below number times 100. Now, how many people scored below? Well, 50 scored higher. It's so 175 minus 50. And three people got the same, so that's not below. So that is 122, I think, got below. So, it's 122 divided by 175 times 100. So, how well did the uh, Sajit do? Well, 122 divided by 175 times 100, 70%. So, Sajit, Sajit scored better. And 70% of the students. So this lets us compare our numbers uh, fairly readily. Uh, turn them into percentages. Now, what can you say about how Tom and Sarge scored compared to each other? Well, Tom, I got to double check, was 52nd percentile. So percentile. Sajit was uh, 70%, 70th percentile. This is a lot better. Now we don't know absolute scores, but we do know that Tom was just about average. They almost mean. Sajit did a lot better. Now, can we say how much better? No. Well, we can say what percentage he did better. That would be uh, 28%. 28 percentile rankings better. Now, John participated in a survey of people's wages in, <coughs> in his town. He learned that his wage was in the 70th percentile and that 180 people were surveyed. How many people surveyed earned less than John? Now, PR equals N, so B over N, below 
number times 100. So, his percentile was the 70th. We don't know how many people below, but we know 180 people were surveyed. So, we're solving for B. How do we solve for B here? Well, notice it's times 100, so I divide both sides by 100. So this is 70 divided by 100 is 0 0.7. Now, this is B divided by 180. How do you get rid of divide by 180? You multiply both sides by 180. So the number of people below them, if I cannot calculate in my head, 180 times 0 0.7 is 126. But 126 people below him in the survey, or below, or less. So, how many people earned less? 126. So he's, he's doing good. Now, the question is, how many people earn more than John? Well, so let me see. There are 180 people. Now, let's look at this carefully. There were 126 people earned less. And don't forget to subtract John himself, because we're looking here and more. 180 minus, I can't do that in my head. 180 minus 126 minus 1 is 53 people. Now, be careful. If you don't include John, then the question's wrong. How many people earned more? So on a test, there would be that 54 if you forgot to subtract John. All right, so be careful about that. Now, that's it for me. If you got any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck.